And hello everybody, welcome back to some more Rising World. You're going to notice some things are missing around here as we uh, work our way around. Alright, let's just you kind of work our way upstairs here a little bit. Um, what's missing? What's missing? Oh my goodness. You know what, let's see. Can we please work our way through here? Wow. Okay, it looks like one of the front walls is missing. That will bring us up here to the nest. And yes, indeed it is. Yes, indeed it is. All right, guys. So the reason why this is missing is because I decided to remove the entire wall. I want to remodel the, the entire way this thing looks from the ground up using planks and beams. So I have gone on ahead and I have removed them all. Now, I started to record this earlier and I was doing this with you guys and... My computer just started going crazy. Nutballs on me. I don't know what was happening. I don't know what was. It just drove me crazy. I had to. Uh, I had to stop it from recording. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this thing up here for a moment, and we're gonna just bring it back here. And yeah, there we goes. And can I just yeah, do one of those with it. There we are. Um, one of the things I want to do with this place, guys is I need a beam first off and a good one something you know what texture is this beam that we got right here all right I need to see what what texture is that beam this is a beam that is ID 66 okay I don't see an ID 66 beam in here all right so let's go ahead let's let me get one of those things you know what? I shouldn't need to do that. Um, let's just go ahead, hit tab, and we can go right over here to our saw bench. Um, we've got a wood beam. Stop spinning. And let's grab ourselves ID 66 up out of here. All right. So what I want to do first off is I want to frame this in down here on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start off with a little bit of this um, we're gonna fly for some of this because we need to be able to get this stuff up underneath here as best as we could so let's go ahead let's bring this thing to the edge hit control and we're gonna see what we can do with this by bringing it all the way up to its max length um, was I doing that right I think so Alright, we got this thing all the way in at its max length. We're going to go ahead and drag it the whole way back here. And we're going to try to shimmy it up right against the building over here. You can see there's a few blocks left in the building. That is okay by me. I don't have a problem with that because these things right here, they're going to play a role in the way we build this house. I mean, well, the entire walls, okay? Um... The walls of the building, they need to be different than the way we started to build them because what I want them to be is like platforms, okay? I want these to look like platforms that were placed in here, you know, for added support by the community. You know, they took these things, they added them in. They said, look, we need something we could stand on. So... They took these, they added them in. So we're going to have to add something to this. All right. So let's see here. Let's hit control on this. And that should add up. So I want to be able to add legs to this. Give it some added support. Something that could say, hey, look, this is how we're doing this. This is how we want it done. And it's pretty much how the entire place is going to be built up. Okay. Okay. Um, this entire thing that we have over here, I'm debating on tearing it out, mostly because it doesn't match anything. Let me fix that time. There we goes. You know, sometimes if I just use the right keys... We wouldn't have a problem. All 
Actually, that fits perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's turn that modular snapping off. Okay. So with this thing right here, what I want to be able to do is I want to say like, eh, jam it in here, kind of like this, bring it over here. And we want to add this in as like a support. Okay. So it might have to fatten up just a little bit move its way in here but it's gonna have to sit up a little bit higher okay so think of this as like a fenced in area of the uh, compound okay so we can add some different varying walls to this right now we just need this small piece right over here we're gonna go ahead we're gonna drag it on over here to where this little bit is over here like a, over by the wall like right here okay right here all right so let's go ahead let's drag this thing on over we're going to shove one there and i just want to try to keep these things in parallel like in the right place i should go ahead and pause because these things they seem to meet move so darn slow i don't know why you know what if i hold shift and go up there you go will that help that thing move faster <laughs> let's try that again uh let's just try doing this will that make it move faster no it just makes it still the same place okay whatever all right it just moves like a turtle. It moves so slow. I don't mind it, but at the same time, seriously, hello. Can we reach the corner sometime today? <laughs> there it goes. All right, we're in. All right, control. Woohoo! All right, so we got this one in place. Now, if I take this thing again and I say we would do enter off of it, then control and decide to push this thing back in. We're going to have to pull the enter off of it and then drag it across this way. I'm going to go ahead and pause, guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one, two, three, maybe four of these things in. I'm not sure what the height of these things are going to be like. I want them to stay at the same height the entire way across so that we can add more to it so i'll be back all right guys we got this in let's go ahead we're gonna pull this thing out what i'm going to do is bring this thing in and we're gonna double it up we're gonna do modular snapping on this and we're gonna go right up underneath it and we're gonna make it a little bit more fat on each one of these so that it kind of goes in hand in hand on each one of these and we're going to just kind of see where it ends, okay? So these ones, it went down a little bit fatter, okay? It's got a little bit more depth to it. Um, let's see what you can do with one, two. All right, let's go ahead, bring this piece down. And let's see if we can do this one. I want to do this one a little bit fatter as well, if I can get it up underneath it. There we go. And that one's okay. This one's okay. Um, let's go ahead and shrink it down by two. Let's go take a look at this one. Okay, this one's all right. It goes right in with this right here. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's reach up top right here. And let's pull this one out and let's swap it out for something that's a little bit darker okay now this one right here that's a log um that is not a beam all right we needed this is id 77 it's not the beam i had in mind um that's a wood log oh great um let's go to crafting let's go to the saw bench let's see here 67 all right let's use this for like on top of it but what we want to do with this one 
instead of like that is I want to use these at their max height as like like right here okay so what we're gonna do on these ones is we're gonna do these ones at their max height on top of each and every single one of these things all right now it's gonna start to look a little bit awkward all right I know it is and I'm okay with this all right so right here is basically where all the walls are gonna come together at and it should match up nice and good um, oh I had that didn't I No, that was a log okay let's see something else all right, this right here, we made it one texture, and then we made that another. Let's try to do this is like, hmm. Let's see here. Can we, is there like a gray? No, I know what we can do. Um, let's go into here, and let's try like a stone texture. Let's try ID 21. All right, item wood beam 121 enter and then we'll do i think this is 22 right yes okay let's go ahead we're going to take this one and we're going to go boom boom with it to make it match up with this all right Let's go ahead, give me the hammer. We're going to go ahead and, whoa, knock this one out. Let's knock this one. Let's knock this baby one out right here that we got right here. Let's knock all three of these out. Let's knock this one out back here. All right, and we're going to use this one. All right, let's do one. We're going to use modular snapping on this. All right. Modular snapping just to get it a little bit of a stone texture. There we go. Let's do a little bit more like right here. There we go. Let's back off. Let's use this one. All right, this one, one, two. All right. Can we drop down and put this thing right there? Yes, we can. Awesome. And put it up underneath this one. That should work. Nice. Okay. Now that adds a little bit more depth and color and perception to this. That's what I kind of like to see there. All right. This right here is ID 79. We're going to take ID 79 here, and what I want to do with this plank is I want to kind of start off like, hold on, I thought, what color, what, what is this floor in here? This is, turn it, turn that off. This is ID 79, this is ID 79. Okay, I'm thinking I should rip out this entire floor in here, but I'm, don't exactly want to do that. Not yet. Um, I thought I ripped this wall out. There. Okay. So this entire thing that's right here, we're going to take this and we're going to mirror it over here onto this side. Okay, and basically what these are is platforms, okay? It's platforms that were added in, and it's supposed to basically add a little bit more decor to the area, but also um, just kind of separate it off. So where I have these logs at over here, I know I want to take these ones. I want to knock them out because I know I don't need these here no more. Um, this right here that kind of goes in a little bit awkwardly. Um, we spent so much time building that up that door, building this entire entryway. Now we're going to tear it out. I don't know about that. 
You know what? I can see us doing something like this. You know, just for a little... Come on. There. Something like that. Yeah, kind of like... Uh, like it's a broken area. There we go. And you kind of just like... It, it looks like it's an entryway, but it's not quite an entryway. I suppose that could work. I don't know. I'm thinking of ripping this entire thing out down here. Um, this right here, I want to mirror this over here. We'll have to figure that other side out eventually. But over here, what we want, what we need to do is kind of mix in a little bit of this and a little bit of this. Nope, not that one. That's ID 66, 75, 79. Okay, nope, that is not one. Wood plank. All right, let's see what we got. Yuck, yuck, uh, maybe, no. Yes. 66. Nope, we already used that texture. What texture is this one? 65. Okay, let's go ahead and craft that one up. Alright, and let's, sit, let's take a look at this one, alright? Let's hit control on this, and let's page up on it a little bit here. All right, we can stand back. We can look at this. And let's say we stick this one kind of like right here, okay? Now, we bring it over a little bit. Skinny it up. Page up. Bring it over some more. Edge down, all right, and just kind of do that same exact thing that we were doing before. I could have waited on putting the furniture in on this, but this is like the idea that I got running in the back of my head right now, okay? Now, let's take a look at these ones, all right? What I want to do with these is I want to take this, I want to hit like control on this, and I want to take these ones and I want to push them in. Kind of like so. Bring them towards the center. And page up on these ones. And bring them up higher. Okay. Kind of like this. Bring them in. And we'll use them like bigger strips. Okay. These things will be like narrow strips. Well you can put these things in varial heights. Kind of like this. Alright, so this is the idea for the wall, guys. We're going to use this, and we're going to use this. So we need to use two, and we need to use this one. Now, this entire thing is going to act like a barrier wall, which is going to be brought the entire way across. Now, you're probably wondering right now, well, what is going to hold it in place? Well, I already thought of a plan for that, okay? You guys see I, a wood log? We should have one around here. Let's see here. Um, maybe I put it away. Unless, of course, the game is broken. Now, yeah, let's take a look. We got beds for days, guys. Beds for days. All right, let's see here. Um, no, it's not in there. Okay. Okay. Or we got to go to the uh, block bench and we got to drop down to, I think it's, 
metal. Let's take a look at this recycled metal. And I kind of want this right here. I want it in a log, though. Or we could use this. Uh, I, I'm really not too sure about that one right there. I'm using it for a brick. Um, this one. All right. You know what? Item. Wood log. One. One ninety five. Bingo. Got it. Okay. Close this. One. And what I want to do with this, guys, is I kind of want to use this is like a support beam. Okay, so not like that. So basically what I want to do with this is I want to bring it all the way up. Page up on this thing. And kind of just like we're going to put it up against the post is where I want it. All right. So this will sit right up against the posts, kind of like this, but it's not exactly in place, if you know what I mean. All right, so we're going to have to page down on that thing to actually get it into the ground where it belongs. And I'd say this one looks okay just where it is. But if we were to start to move this thing around, no, that don't look right. All right. All right, let's see about getting one right about here. And what we'll do, like I said, is we're going to use this as a, uh, as supports. Okay. This is what's going to support the entire structure. Okay. So the fences will be in here. These right here will be the, uh, the beams, which will hold it in place. So we can go ahead. We can drag this one down here. We can hit control on this. Let's hit F2. Let's bring this one up. Let's go ahead let's just page up on this thing for a moment and we'll shove it inside like a so page up on it just a little bit make sure it's not poking out the other end all right now where this one seems to be floating at um let's just go ahead we're gonna hit enter control to turn it off let's drop down here and we're gonna go like this to make it go into the ground that's okay. Let's turn this off. And again, just continue the same exact process the whole way across. Okay. Um, I think this should work. Um, this already looks like it has support. So we might not need to add these here. So let's go ahead. Let's cancel out on this one. Let's go ahead and decontrol on this. All right. And what I'm going to do with this instead is I'm going to hit backspace. And then I'm going to go like this with it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is hit this right here. All right. Now this thing right here is going to go in. And it's going to kind of like go like a so. All right. Because what I want this thing to do is to like look like it's supporting the entire thing. All right. So if we go ahead and do. Let's just go ahead. We're going to switch off the modular snapping for this one. Okay. So here we go. We hit control. Let's turn around. Let's hit enter. Actually, that went in there. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead. Let's swap around onto this end. And can I just, can I nick that? Can I nick it? Can we get it in there? Yes, we can. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, so if we wanted to add a support like going into this wall, we could do that. But I don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to leave that wall alone over there. Because I don't think this one right here really needs a uh, iron bar support. It's primarily just for over here on this side. Now we can go ahead and take this same exact thing that we have. Let's go ahead. Let's turn this off. And we're going to bring it right inside of this. Like so. And do the same exact thing right here. Again, making sure that nothing is... Well, first off, nothing is poking through. And let's make sure it's centered. There we go. Now, that would mean that right here, I would need to do that same exact thing. So let's hit backspace. This about, yeah, that's roughly about the same size. So if I came over here and I did control on this and started to shove it in like right about here would this be about accurate or does it need to go a little bit more I think that should be accurate yeah it might need to be a bit higher I think that should work right there all right, let's go ahead, let's control, let's backspace. And let's see about getting this thing in. Ha 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 ha. This is going to look cool. There we go. We're going to jam this bar all the way through over here. And then we're ready for uh, we're ready for wood and metal, guys. I think this should keep it in place. It should give the walls a little bit more support and look good at the same time. We just want to kind of shove this thing through here a little bit. There you go. Right about to there. D control backspace. Let's pull this out. And we're ready for adding metal. For adding this in. Now what I want to do with this is we're going to add this in little by little up against the up against the bar, okay? So this thing is going to look like it's nailed in at various different heights. Um we could take the metal and add it on the top piece and we could do the wood and add it on the bottom or we could do it where metal wood metal i'd like to hear from you guys as to which part of this you think would look better okay this is the new idea for the wall the new concept is basically support and i think this should work a lot better because i don't think anyone's going to try to climb the walls i mean once they're in place, who's going to climb it, you know? I mean, you got yourself a sniper right there. We'll add some more add some more things out here. Um, more campers out here or something like that of that sort. We'll think about it. Is there anything inside of this like... No? All right. Get rid of this thing. If there's none of that stuff in there, I know these we crafted up, but you know what? We're just going to let it despawn for now. 
This was our first uh, smelting bench that we made. And I think it's time for it to go. I don't, I don't know if you can pick it back up or not, and I'm really not in the mood to find out. All right, let's, yeah. So let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinions are on this versus what we had before. I mean, this, I think, looks like really good. I think this will make a really good idea right here. Um, as far as with these beams, the way they come across, um, you know what? Nothing is attached to them. Let's get them out of here. All honesty, nothing is attached to them. Let's get them out of here. Uh, we'll come up with something a bit better for this. I think it looks good just the way it is for right now. That still needs something for it to sit upon. And I'm thinking if we add these walls in coming across, you know, we can bring the support out a little bit further and do something here. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I want to hear what you guys' opinions are on this, okay? Honestly, I do. I want to hear your opinions on this. Um, here's the, like I said, here's the palette right here, guys. Uh, this one and... No, not that. Um, what is this? 6074? Alright, so... Yeah, let, let me get back up in here if I can. You know, we could just take the door. Alright, and these right up against this. And you hit control, bring it across, and here we go. So we got this one right here, we'll say. We'll say this board is kind of like, that is not the board that I wanted. Um, this is. There it is. All right. Wait, is that 66? No, that's 65. Okay. Okay. Control this one. It's gonna have to sit up off the floor a little bit So let's say we do off with this We bring it over A little bit more and then we just we can we can start we can make these things a little bit better but I don't know about the varying heights Honestly, I don't. And we'll see about this, like, right here. I mean, what we can do with this is we can do control on this and push it forward. And then bring it forward maybe a little bit further. And we can do this one in varying heights, too. Okay? The thing of it is, is once I bring it in... I think what I would do is I would bring this one in like this and make it overlap a little bit, you know, to kind of make it look different. Okay, so you got a mixture of wood, you got a mixture of metal, and it just, I think it, I think it would look good. So here's the idea, this is the plan, I want to hear from you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Later.